Elephant was a heavy tank destroyer used by the Wehrmacht during World War II. 91 units were built in 1943. The vehicle was fitted with an 88mm Panzerjäger Kanone 43 with significantly improved armor penetration ability over the earlier 88mm guns. Elephant may have been the most successful mass-produced German tank destroyer employed during the war in Kiel per Loss, reaching an average claimed ratio of approximately 10 to 1. During the Battle of Kursk, one of the German units equipped with the Elephant, the Schwere Panzerjäger Abteilung or Heavy Tank Destroyer Battalion 653, claimed to have knocked out 320 enemy tanks. This impressive average ratio was due to its extreme firepower and protection, which gave it an enormous advantage when used in head-on combat or aesthetic defensive role. In May 1943, 90 vehicles were sent to the Eastern Front in two heavy tank destroyer battalions, Schwere Panzerjäger Abteilung or Heavy Tank Hunter Battalion 653 and 654 with 45 vehicles each. They trained and waited for Operation Citadel. There, the Ferdinands first saw combat and their action proved their might, but it was not enough. Tactically, their units were committed to destroy Soviet T-34 tanks and 76.2mm anti-tank guns from behind the front lines at a 5km range or more. In this role, they performed well according to the plan. However, when advancing more in depth in the Soviet defensive lines, a variety of flaws were soon discovered, like the lack of peripheral vision blocks or a machine gun as a secondary armament. The pistol ports were not efficient when moving and firing was done blindly. Accordingly, the Soviet infantry quickly learned from this and simply hid in their trenches and foxholes until the Ferdinand passed their lines and then swarmed it with grenades and Molotov cocktails. Most of the losses experienced by this formidable tank hunter were indeed provoked not by the enemy tanks, but by its simply infantry devices and tactics. The other significant issue experienced at Kursk was mine damage and mechanical failure. Indeed, damage to the suspension or tracks imposed a repair sortie for the crews on the field, making them easy prey for the snipers. Also, the components were extremely heavy. The other option was to wait for the standard recovery vehicle of the German service at the time, the Sonderkraftfahrzeug or Special Vehicle 9, FAMO. One FAMO was needed for a Panzer IV, two were needed to tow a disabled Tiger tank, but four were needed for the Ferdinand, linked in tandem. In the initial stages of the Kursk battle, when the Germans were on the offensive, heavy vehicles could be recovered and repaired at night. This at first allowed the majority of knocked out Ferdinands to be rescued, repaired and returned to duty. However, once the tides had turned against the Germans and they fell back into the defensive with fewer vehicles to spare, Functional Ferdinands with minor damage to the tracks or suspension had little hope to recovery and crews were usually forced to destroy the vehicle to prevent a mostly intact tank hunter from falling into the hands of the Soviet army. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.